So this is a video on how to add like a popping up picture effect. So like get say the end of a video if you want to say make sure you like and then like a thumb or like a thumbs up will appear on the screen, like appear on the screen. And I'm teaching you how to do that in iMovie because you might not know how to do that in iMovie because iMovie is like it's a bit limited, like it's it doesn't have all the Pro features that Adobe or Final Cut Pro would have because you don't have to pay for it. Um, you can only use iMovie if you're on a Mac, so let's get into the video. Okay, so first we need to import our clip. So if you want to import your clip, you just need to go up to the um, top left hand corner and select the little arrow button. Then you need to go ahead and drag your clip into that. Then you just um, hit import selected then your clip will show up in the browser bit where you can view all your clips before you drag them. So now in this bit, you can go up here and take out the bits that you don't want until I actually start. So see this yellow line, um, I'll just hit play. I'm going to go right before I say so, then I hit the I button on the keyboard, then I drag it over to the outro when I when it goes black, then I hit the O button. And then you'll see this part here is selected, and I just drag that bit in. And okay, so um, for this um, effect, you need to get a transparent background, and if you want to do that, you just need to open up Google Chrome or Safari and then type up remove BG upload and you should just click on the first link and then, and then it will take you to this page then you hit upload image um, and then and then you would have the image on your desktop but, and then you would obviously just get a picture of a thumbs up of the internet drag that onto your desktop then find it in here and I've already done that so there it is then I just hit open and then it should um, it should remove the background for me like that. Then I download that image. Then I need to then I drag that to my desktop, and then I'll drag that image into iMovie, and then it will pop up like that. But you can see it's really big, so we just need to go into this little box, those two little boxes, and we need to hit we need to hit cut the arrow down for cutway and then we need to hit picture and picture then it will pop up really small like that and you can still see that it's a bit it's like cropped off a bit so we just need to go into these like little the cropping icon thing then we do fit and it should look like that then we go back into picture and picture then it looks like that and then we've got just like a thumb that's popping up so now we got to time it with when I say make sure you like. So we'll just go see. So make sure you like. So like about there. We'll just go down. So um, when you when you like put the clip in, you'll notice that it fades in. We don't really want it to fade in, so we just go up here and we just hit zero and then enter, and then there's no fading. And then it's kind of a bit big, so I just make it down a bit. Um, and then now we're going to find a subscribe one. So I found my image, so I just went ahead and dragged that onto my desktop. Let me go into remove BG upload. Going to upload an image. Um, let's wait for it. And then we are going to. This one is. And then we just need to select that. Then it has removed that background and then you can see how um, if you can see those little squares are telling you which bits have been removed and you can see in like the little triangle bit has been the inside has been removed as well and we want that inside to stay white so if we do that we just go ahead and click edit we just go um, into array slash restore we go into restore I just change the brush size so it's quicker and I just hit that so we get all that white back but then the um, outside is of course still um, transparent 
and then we just download that and then download the image should come pop up down there drag that onto our desktop then we go back into iMovie and we drag that one in about there so then it goes kind of like this so make sure you like make sure you subscribe and then again it pops up really big so we're just going to go into the cropping icon go and hit fit going to go into the boxes that are like on top of each other go into picture and picture it's really small now so we just make that a bit bigger and also we want to make the um it not fade in so we can we can either we can either hit go up here and hit the zero or we can go down here and actually get that and drag it out to the end you can do it i find it easier just to go down there but you can do whatever you want so now play so it make sure you like make sure you subscribe came off a bit late so i'll just drag that in a bit more like make sure you subscribe and it kind of looks like that but um so like subscribe and then and then i kind of like moved my hands like that um so and and i want them to like when i go like that i want the subscribe to like move out of the way so i just go here and then i go so as soon as i start moving my hand up to here i'll split that clip and then and then i'll and then now is the kind of tricky part it's keyframing in iMovie um so if you want a keyframe in here you go up into this bit picture in picture and I want to hit that little plus button then I want to move it and then I'm going to move that out of the frame and then it should be keyframed you like, make sure you subscribe. and then it just and then when I went move my hand it kind of swiped out of the frame so that's also a bit of keyframing um so you can do stuff like that with um like you can play around with that and keyframe some stuff but it's 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 pretty cool so now we've done all that and the last thing we just want to do is add the popping popping sound so to do that you just go on to google search up popping sound effect um audio record that and then drag that into iMovie and then basically just line it all up and then then you kind of go to popping sound effect. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that get pop sound effect, drag it in down here, then that should be a popping sound effect. I'm gonna line that up with that and then it sh the thumbs up should pop. So make sure you like, make sure you kind of worked and then we're just going to duplicate that audio recording kind of thing and put it under the subscribe then in the end you'll get this so make sure you like make sure you subscribe um and i will see you in the next one Bye. and then that's how you add the popping sound effect in iMovie also like and subscribe like the video said Bye.